here we have an older model of the Amazon Fire Stick. And let me show you just what it looks like. I've had this probably since 2018. So don't mind the mess in my room, but basically, oops. Here is the Amazon Fire Stick. I'm not sure if you could see that properly. Give me one moment. Now, it sort of does blend in with the TV, but here is the connection. This is actually plugged into a separate area that I will show you in a moment, but the cord is pretty lengthy. This is the HDMI connector here to this TV. Just thought I'd show you. Right here, USB-C. Now over here in this little surge protector is where the fire stick and the TV are both plugged into, but this is the USB-C. USB portion is plugged into a charging brick, but an outlet brick then is then charged, not charging, but plugged into the surge protector. And this is the older model version of the remote. As you can see, here are like the up, down, left, right buttons. Voice activation right here, the little microphone, and back home menu, pause, play, rewind, fast forward buttons here. Now this does take AAA batteries. This was not sponsored, this is just what I had on hand and what I have been using for a while because it was the most affordable option is the Amazon Basics um, batteries and I've only had to replace this, I mean, over the past five or so years, maybe, I don't know, I have had to replace the batteries either once every six months or every year. Now, since the Amazon Fire Stick is connected to my personal Amazon account, as you can see, the last couple of things that I have watched through Amazon Prime is Terrifier and Child's Play. And it brings up your... should bring up your most used actually up here, but sometimes it just randomizes that. So Netflix is usually my go-to, but, you know, it gives you all of these options. Recently used apps... Most used is Max, YouTube, Netflix, Peacock, and Disney. So, yeah. I have all good things to say about this. I mean, I love it. It's just what I use for TV. So, yeah, if you're wondering what you should use, Amazon Fire Stick is always a good option for your streaming services. Nowadays, you don't really need the expensive cable packaging, especially with a lot of different streaming services, also being able to provide local channels that you may have for news or weather, etc, etc. YouTube TV, um, which is something that you can download through your Amazon Fire Stick, also has the ability to be able to provide all your local channels that you need, but if all you really do is just need a streaming service, Amazon Fire Stick is always a good affordable way to get rid of your cable box and just watch your favorite TV shows. Thanks for watching this review and yeah, let me know what you guys think about your Amazon Fire Stick.